I've lived here in the Sierra Vista area since 1988 when my wife and I came here uh, to manage a preserve for the Nature Conservancy. And in 1995, we founded the Southeast Arizona Bird Observatory to do science and education around birds here in southeastern Arizona and northeastern Mexico. From the San Pedro, it's about 200 miles east to the Rio Grande and about 200 miles west to the Colorado River. So this is the main north-south corridor. Uh, if you were a bird flying north, you got desert on either side and you look down and here's this ribbon of green with insects and water and, and uh, berries and everything you need to, to migrate. So this is the interstate that they use to get from here to uh, uh, the western U.S. Birding and birding tourism is a multi-million dollar industry here in Cochise County. Uh, people come from all over the world to see the birds that are here and they spend money not only with the, the bird guides and things like that, but they spend money at the gas stations and the restaurants and the motels as well. This is probably one of the best studied watersheds in the country, if not in the world. There have been dozens of studies done here and a lot of people are a lot smarter than I am that have done the hydrology work here. But a lot of the estimates I've heard have said, you know, it takes 20 or 30 or 40 years for uh, the impact to fully show up. And so we're seeing the river as it was impacted from development 20 or 30, 40 years ago. And, and there's been an awful lot of development since then. So there are days when I'm really pessimistic about the long-term future of the river. Arizona is, is fairly backward as far as water law. You know, they still do not recognize the connection between groundwater and surface water. Uh, there are rules that say you can't divert this river and irrigate your cotton field with it. But you can go 30 feet away and drill a well and pump all day. I could teach a class of second graders that groundwater and surface water are connected but our Arizona law does not recognize that. Uh, and it's just a fundamental part of hydrology is that uh, you can't just keep sucking water out of the ground uh, without impacting everything. And yet we act like we can. I'm uh, encouraged that people are recognizing the importance of the river. And I've seen that grow over the 25 or 30 years that I've been involved here on the river. And I see people from all over the country hiking the trails and, and walking their dogs and watching birds and enjoying the river. And I think the people, uh, the people in Sierra Vista realize what a wonderful resource this is. Uh, so the, you know, the first step in protecting somewhere is falling in love with it. And I think more and more people have fallen in love with the San Pedro River. And that's, that's a good thing. And that gives me some hope for the future. I would love to see it continue just the way it is today uh, for future generations of, of wildlife and people.